Hello, good evening, uh, good afternoon, good morning. We are back. I am Rationale, and this is Bobby Kane and Vino Varez White. Uh, they are my best friends, and Aww. we are back again to invade your airwaves and your YouTube with more nonsense that is probably quite irrational. Uh, uh, but we'll review it. We'll review it anyway. <laughs> so imagine if David Attenborough was suddenly out there Ooh. in the Serengeti, right? <laughs> oh, Hear me out. He's out there in the Serengeti and he's trying to get this shot of a lion doing you know, its thing. Something not brand new. filming him now. He's now 83 years old. Yeah, yeah but just team. roll with me. I mean, he's... you imagine that he's there, though, where they make it seem like he's there. Oh, he so, goes. Yeah, he, exactly. He, like he's, he's just, yeah, but know, I, I, I think of him. To the young folk. Yeah, but I think he's literally in the bushes. Maybe that's just the way that I watch I used to, he used to, not so much now. He's there too. Whispering, the young male, like that kind of thing. But imagine if he was out there and he couldn't get his shot. He was like, you. Flipping, I don't know, uh, uh, lion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Get the hell out of there. Come on, you bastards. And lost it. And then that was somehow, you know, leaked in this day and age that we live in. Um, people would just suddenly lose respect for him. Oh, it would show the be, shit be out of a lot of people, He's mate. the most respected man. I mean, I still, to this day, every time there's a planet Earth or yeah, mate, any kind of um, Attenborough interview. Than anything. Yeah. And, he, and why is that? Because one is... Uh, Except sultry tones, he, man. He's kept shit. us yeah. so excited yeah. by nature and all that sort of stuff yeah. for his enthusiasm. Because yeah. he's like Klopp, right? And I'm not the biggest Klopp fan. I'm not comparing him to the great man, David Attenborough. But David right. Attenborough's Jürgen enthusiasm Klopp, right? okay. yeah. for, for, um, for his craft yeah. is why he's so lovable. Yeah. And, his, yeah. and his complete, earnest, modest approach to everything, you just can't help but going... I mean, and now the, the visual amazingness, the technology's caught up with his level of enthusiasm. Yeah. That you're watching, that last one was amazing. That Blue... Uh, was it Blue oh, Planet was it Blue too? Planet? Oh, my... Like, I gosh, I, it, yeah. Do you know what? I rarely watch things twice, and I think when that's come on on a Wait. Sunday afternoon again, and there's been like an, a, a section that I've seen already, I've stayed tuned to that. Partly, again, like we're saying, because of his personality, it's probably ingrained in my mind that when his voice comes on, it's cooling, it's soothing, he seems like a nice guy, yeah, always put in the most po positive light. And yeah, I just like I just like it. And of course, the cinematography is brilliant, you know, yeah. and I love nature in general, but I don't think that's just, that's the reason alone. But it's him yeah? as a person, everyone's like, he's like everyone's dream granddad. Yeah. You know what oh I mean? my God. But yeah. also, yeah. he's had a mad old life. You know, he, he set up BBC Two. Yeah. So he was... Sorry, the blank look on my face was literally just that moment where I realised that is... He created BBC truth. Two pretty much and he ran it. He was yeah, like he the he director is, for BBC. Like amazing broadcaster, wasn't he? Yeah, like, and ran it for years but yeah. then he was just like, no, I'm not, I want to get back out yeah, there and do stuff. Yeah, he got frustrated with the, with the politics of, of when running he, when a, he was a young, channel, wasn't it? He was meeting... Um, he went out and met tribes for the first time. He was like this actual pure adventurer and yeah. then... And that's why everyone... You, like, he's one of those people that throughout his entire career has yeah. just been nothing but... Uh, exemplary as a, as a yeah, person yeah and that's the thing he's it's like, like he's oh, I heard this term the other day and I, I wanted to use it uh, I want to find a way of using it like chasing excellence it he, made me think Lowe's man I was like oh man excellence is chasing him <laughs> chasing yeah. excellence excellence is, like, is chasing him yeah exactly because how, is, how more he's a level above dedication kind of application you know, starting from the bottom and from the top, I sound like Drake starting yeah, from the bottom now we're here. But, but I mean, imagine that. Someone should make a meme of Attenborough. Someone make a meme, please, of Attenborough. Johnny started hundreds. from the bottom now we're here. That'd be great. But I mean, in terms of that kind of thinking, he is, to me, the ideal person to follow in terms of an inspiring, inspiring, inspiring figure, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, he's never let us down. He's never, yeah. he's never come out with, there's never been some story in the background about he's having an affairs or some nonsense stuff about his personal life. Yeah. He's his personal uh, life has been kept out. The, the, only, the only thing is, yeah, for me, and that, those, those sort of things, yeah, I'm not trying to compare him. Don't be squishing, man. I'm not, I'm <laughs> Don't not trying, be touching I'm not bro, trying man. to compare him to, to, to old um, uh, funny boy uh, Savile. I'm saying the BBC. Whoa, whoa mate! Wait, whoa. wait, wait! <laughs> wait, uh, I wait there, you, the suicide rate. Let, come on, let, man! Let the come I just seen your comment levels literally. Just, I don't even want to put those and names then, together. And then you no, make your judgment. No. What I'm saying is. <laughs> When it comes to personal life and, and them old boys from back in the day, you can't really... Um, yeah. Not trying to shit on, 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 on Sir Attenborough at all, but nah, you can't really... You can't really take... You've got to take it with a pinch of salt a little bit because right. the BBC has Protect, been excellent, yeah. has been excellent at covering yeah. up stuff, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Time, no, no, I'm not going with that. I'm not going with that. The only thing I'm saying is... 
with all these other people, there's been rumours and all this yeah. sort of stuff. David I get that, Brown I get that, I get that. He's, he's always been spotless. I get that, and, I get that. and he just generally seems like a nice fella. Like, he, he does generally, seem like he's got, a, he's had his wife, they live guy. in like Richmond or whatever, and he, he's just had a lovely family. Yeah. And whoever's been lucky enough to be his kids <laughs> and go to school <laughs> and tell people that their dad or their granddad is he's David, David Attenborough, right, yeah. I envy that life. Oh, because Dave. if I could just meet the man, genuinely, I don't know what I would do. I don't think there's many other people on this planet that I would... If I met him, wouldn't know. I mean, I'm a talking I mean, sort of kind of person. Yeah, don't I don't say. know what I would say or how I could yeah, express well, to the I man totally how agree. much of an influence you, he's had on my say? life. You're right, like, Edinburgh. That, that would be of of kind of like importance or actual grandeur enough for you to for him to turn around and go, yeah. you know what? Yeah, I like what you've got to say. Oh, sure. I think I like what you've got to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But again, I, I mean, I, genuinely, I don't know how who has had a more televisual effect on me uh. and I think now that's why my love of documentaries yeah. is stemmed from from uh, David Attenborough's influence so now I'm watching documentaries like no one's business I am literally trying to find documentaries all over the internet do you know what that's me it's documentaries podcasts I watch less and less television like I probably programs, watch I, yeah. I say television programs and probably more and more of uh, documentaries because you know again I'd rather watch something and think I've learned something learned at the end something of it, and, and it feels it feels good. But then what Shaw kind of documentaries are you watching then, and, and how do you watch them? Do you watch them like one at a time? Kind of, well, kind of thing? Recently, there's been some mad ones that have come out, some really good ones. Yeah. Uh, I'd recommend a few. Yeah. I'd recommend this one called Tickled. If anyone's seen it, it's bizarre. I definitely, I definitely twisted. recommend it. That it's sounds the, one ominous. of the the, mm. the bizarrest, creepiest, and confusing. Documentaries <laughs> I've ever seen. Yeah, because you yeah, start off thinking, sound. "All right, it's this. It's some frivolous nonsense." Yeah. And then next thing you know, you're like, "Wow, what?" And then and then it goes. It just you, gets dark. It's called I, tickled. Did tickled. You tickled. Say? Everyone, everybody out there should watch this film, tickled. And uh, uh, that's all I'm going to say on it because I, I mean, don't want to ruin it, it. It definitely sounds. It's like about an competitive watch. tickling, right? Mm. And and that, and so you think it's a, but it's not as fun. It sounds culty. As as it, it, it will, no, it's not really. A, well, I don't know how to say it, huh. but yeah, I think that's a word. But you know. watch it. There's the Gringo, that one about uh, McAfee. McAfee. Yeah. Oh, that's really another one that people have been telling me. So about, Netflix, but I Netflix has proper stepped up. Netflix is like. I don't now, think this is a thing of of late though. It's been for a good number of years now in terms of the quality of their of, series. Is yeah, it was, yeah. you know Breaking Bad. I reckon Breaking Bad was yeah. the making of a of a platform like Netflix. Once they got something like that, everyone's yeah. like. Do you, I mean, you everything now. Netflix makes films. They, 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 they're everywhere. They're like one of the biggest content providers. Yeah. Like, and everyone, like you know, you can't stop yourself from watching like thirty episodes. Oh, in one the binge sitting. watch. Is, yeah. that, is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, it's. I think th there's a bit of a tr trick to that, isn't there? Lately, like the way that you may finish watching a program for a moment, and the next thing you know, within five seconds, there's a counter. Yeah. Going down, going. Do you want to watch the next episode? Like, like I've said, you like want to watch before, the next they've, episode. They've, Come they've on. And it just starts. They've worked that out. They've gone. Yeah. Your brain process. You've mm. got this long to work out how long it is before you've made your decision up and they've cut it that time by three seconds or so. So you're like, well, mm. maybe. And then, oh, and you're I'm, in. I'm watching it. I'm oh, in. Right. I'm in. Oh, and then, oh yeah, go on. I'll watch I, I can't imagine how many lost hours, like that moment when you're in bed and and, and <sighs> you sh you've got, you want to get like six hours at, at least and, and, and it just happens. You you're watch the like, next oh, thing. Just another one. But, but this, this is this is a new, new um, phenomenon. Oh yeah? Because back in the day, we never had that. You'd watch like an episode, an episode and you'd have wait to next wait week. Until yeah. the next week, or if you were lucky enough to have a, a VHS video player, oh yeah, and you tried recording it without watching it for ten weeks, and then decided to binge watch, yeah, but even that was pretty much impossible. Did, I think I got a, a, one of those recording VHS sort of machines yeah, right as they were dying out. Oh, like the last, the last one, it was like, remember, it was the last one. Have you seen this new thing? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I went to school and I was like, oh my god, look, I've got this new like uh, TDK, whatever it is, one eighty, whatever it is, and and then. I think I we've got a double double machine. Oh shit! Do you remember right, the double sort copying. of like yeah, so yes, yeah, so you could do the, the record and you can then copy a, a version for whatever. And I think it was like you and one of your crew or, or your friends or whatever, and it was like you walked in with one of the first sort of DVDs or something like that. What yeah. was that? The next medium DVD yeah. was the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just DVD. Yeah. I suppose accessibility has a, a, a lot to do with it. Actually, what? I was thinking a uh, laser disc, but then I never really experienced that. No disc was. Any kind of disc, anyway. You went, yeah. from, you went from tape. I never to really disc. experienced. That. I just went. From I find myself, you know, what these days, if I know a program is going to start or a series is starting again, 
Don't watch I'll it. let it yeah. happen yeah. as it happens. Series and then go back in. Yeah, so and then kind of like watch it at my leisure. The but then if so you think about it, that waiting of that whole sort of like oh I, next I, week I the sit and watch cliffhanger business because that that killed me like. What in what what program in, so in particular? Game of Thrones, right? Okay, <laughs> so, for everyone out there, right? I didn't know Bobby. This show. Bobby basically Shunned refused it. to watch Shunned Game it. of no, Thrones because yeah. this is his character. Anything that's kind of like popular or of the moment, he's like, no, I refuse. I'm different. No, this is that kind of, kind yeah. of personality, which is great because it means you know you, you make your own decisions. But you then jumped on the wagon. Probably was it I season? Crumbled. Basically, what yeah. happened was. Yeah. Um, the missus went on holiday for four days yeah. and I was sat at the house alone. I'd thought, you know, I've watched loads of stuff. I've, you know, gone in. Let me just see what people are talking about. Without everyone being around me telling me to love it, I'll watch one episode. Mm. And this was one series before the last one. Like, uh, they, oh, it was in like, was it eight or? There's eight, I think, or yeah, nine. something like that. And oh, it was yeah. like up to season eight and everyone was watching. One. Everyone was going on about it for years. I was like, all right, cool. Okay. And I watched one episode and I was like, Watch oh, it was alright. Watch another one, yeah, two another. episodes, three episodes. <laughs> I watched in six days the entire seven or eight seasons in six days, like oh, fourteen wait. hours a day. Think about that. Just think about that. You've eighty sat down hours. For how or many? Something. Yeah, eighty hours. Eighty hours of watching this TV show. And Surely that is not a good thing. No, it's bad. <laughs> it's, it's I, got... I hadn't shaved. I hadn't <laughs> spoken to anyone. People were phoning me, and I think you lot came round occasionally in between this. Yeah. This I just saw the shell of a human that I'd become. This what happened, man? Stinking, yeah, absolute. Yeah. Deliveroo fiend <laughs> that had just lived off of like takeaways and I was like and the missus came back and I literally was like what's happened to you yeah like the, the I, it smelled like a hamster cage in our flat I hadn't <laughs> moved out I hadn't moved out of space and I'd just been living off nonsense the but, danger of the binge my friend but then in the withdrawals we got to the end of it yeah I watched it and then they go alright the next series is coming along yeah, sure. and I was like what do you mean wait what no, no, but I mean, like, I can watch it now, can't I? Mm-hmm. And and that, how to deal with that? What do you mean I can't have it, like, That's the, straight off the bat? the hit, isn't it? That's, it that's what bananas. they design it for. When we got, <laughs> when they finished, brought out the second, the final, the last season or whatever it was. Yeah. Watching it week by week. I, yeah, that's the most annoying way I, to watch I, that show. I, 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 it suddenly took me back to being when I was, like, 12, 13 years old, watching TV way back in the day before I had cable. We had four channels or whatever it was. Yeah. And me just going... I can't deal with this because yeah. you 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 also get that anxiety as you're watching it and you know that's the only episode, right? Yeah, and you're, you're like, kind of like thirty five minutes and you're just like, I know this is going to be over in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I can't concentrate on this shit. This is just awful. And then you know that that scene that's always like the penultimate scene, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that you get that feeling coming, you're like, oh, and you're thinking, right, what should I go and do now? It's, it's horrible. Yeah, but then yeah. I think that's just a case of where we are right now. I think in the future we're going to be in a position where they end up broadcasting stuff in just feature length, ridiculous long sort of episodes or something like that. We'll, we'll, which we'll probably we'll still want more. We'll still want more. That's like, that's, that's human nature, isn't it? Is it? We, like that it, we're unquenchable. Yeah. We're unquenchable in every respect. In every aspect. Yeah, I mean, yeah. genuinely, I uh, yeah, I didn't think I'd be so into the medieval realm of, uh, <laughs> of stuff. Yeah, you surprised me when you took to it as well. I was just like, and oh, I, I, I always hated that stuff. Yeah. I was like, for real? And I just no, but it just goes to show in. when something's well written, or what, what, like we were talking about the Attenborough stuff and his uh, particular sort of a, a videography or his history. It's when something's well done, we will we'll tap into it and we'll get what we can from it. Yeah, you know? but then now with Netflix, I've watched some crap. And I'm telling you, I've watched quality the entire control, series. my friend. I've watched, I've watched series he, after series after series of rubbish, of, of episode of dog shit yeah. television. Yeah. Because once you're in, I've got this thing. Once of like, you're in, no, exactly. Yeah, once yeah. you're in, once I'm like, I'm, you just can't, I'm I can't drop it. I'm sure. It I, again. Is it you that I caught watching like sort of shark, shark versus I don't know what was it like. Alligators or something, you know, one hey, of them sci-fi listen, yeah. movies oh, yeah, that's so yeah, ridiculous, like Sharknado or whatever it is. I can't stand people Once... who are into stuff like that, where, no, who I'm actually not... allow themselves to go through if the process. I... You're smiling because you're one of them, aren't you? Listen, I, I love a B movie. Yeah. I love a sci-fi. That's not a B movie. movie. Yeah. That's Sharknado. like a Shark, movie. When Sharknado first came out, I was a B movie, and the series is B movie gold. It's actually worked its way into into some mega thing now because it's got it's so bad. It's got cult following now. That bad is so good. But I mean, I'm, if I get ten minutes into anything, yeah, he's in. I have to watch. I have to get to the end of it. And the worst thing about that is Dawson's Creek. I didn't get ten minutes in. I saw the guys forehead. <laughs> this teenagers don't talk like that anymore. 
Yeah. I was like, what, what's wrong with these people? Why are they Dawson's communicating Creek, like this? Dawson's you were really don't lie to me. I did not watch Dawson's Creek. <laughs> I couldn't get my head around it. I don't know. Did you watch Dawson's Creek? No, I swear you were not. You used to take the piss. I've just rinsed. I just don't. Did it, 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 you don't know. <laughs> I don't want to win. <laughs> yes, we go, yeah, yeah. No, we had Vino like on BVs yeah, in bro. the background because like... he knows he ain't afraid to lie. He's a real man. Bro, Be, a I man. Used to watch Be a man. It was, it was TV Mate, I it was Be a man. It was too emotional. It's, I'm not that kind of guy. It was the, very that sort emotional. Of serious talking teenagers that spoke like 40 year old. Uh, people that and they're having these hearts. Deep these, dialogues, yeah. And I was like, yeah, what? The people, who's this? Bro. This is I not how. Love it, I don't relate to that. I, I know you're an emotional guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're an emotional guy, and I could see yourself identifying with a lot of the. I, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm attuned to, to my emotional side. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, not, yeah. You were yeah. a Pacey. Yeah. You, oh, Pacey. Yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. You know, don't try and look at me like you don't know. You know, Pacey. He's the one who went out with Tom Cruise's. Wife. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that was the best yeah. guy in the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by far I mean, the best person in the whole show. When I look back and I think about the stuff Anyone that I used to watch, watch like Dawson's sad. Creek, though, it is pretty poor. Yeah, and I wouldn't good. have binge watched that, I know that for a fact. But that's we didn't have the choice. But luckily, we yeah. were drip fed that shit. Yeah. We, because we had to watch normal TV, and that would be a Saturday morning. That was T4 or wherever it was that we used to have, or, yeah. or, or, or even before then, you know what I mean? That's all we had. We'd watch these, we were drip fed bit little, by bit um, by bit. Come back next week for more. Of this, 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 this trash telly, yeah. you know what I mean? But now, yeah, I've, I've, I mean, I've watched a hell of a lot of nonsense on Netflix. I mean, I've gone through the dregs, and that's how you find weird ass documentaries yeah, and weird ass TV shows, and uh, some gems and some absolute stinkers. That's why I'm not coming across these amazing TV shows because once I get into a show, I'm just like, this is shit. I'm yeah. just like, part of the side, yeah. and anything that's similar it. along those lines gets pushed to the side as well. Yeah. Me, that 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 genre. I that's... do. Know what I do. I always end up balancing that out with a little bit of reality and when I say reality I mean genuine kind of actual real life not real reality life stuff. TV like, just turn the bloody me. news on for about 10 from 10.30 to 11 right, turn the that, news bro. on when was the last time you watched the actual news you okay alright I mean hang on hang on hang on come on now hang on hang on